Alan Ocean Reefers. Another short video on a bit of a controversial subject really, it's on nitrates and phosphates. So rather than tie it into the parameters video that I made earlier, just thought I'd make a shorter video just on the subject of nitrates and phosphates. As I say this, I stress it's our view at Planet Ocean, um, there's lots of different ways to uh, means of keeping your aquariums and I'm not trying to knock anybody else or anything but after keeping a marine aquariums nearly 40 years now this is what I've always looked at and strive for and see no difference in changing to be honest and um, if anybody wants to listen to the advice that we have then listen to the next few minutes um, we've always tried to keep nitrate and phosphates uh, relatively low if closer to zero I know you read things from coral farmers and things trying to get corals to grow faster and um, get more colour maybe or intensify coral growth etc um, but for us just keeping a nice standard uh, LPS SPS mixed aquarium is um, quite adequate for us and, and I think getting into the subject of running with higher nitrates and phosphates can lead a newbie in the aquarium uh, marine aquarium hobby into trouble really uh, I think during those first few months etc a year or so uh, keeping nutrients levels slightly low I'm not saying completely zero or anything but keeping them lower in my experience has certainly helps rather than trying to go on the internet and tell people to increase nitrates and phosphates and everything like that I mean the aquarium will go through a phase of algae blooms etc and diatoms and bacterial blooms anyway um, and to maybe add to that with increasing nutrient levels well, for me it can probably cause more trouble anyway as I say it's just my view on it and the nitrate side of it um, we try to strive and keep nearly all of our aquariums with the exception of the fish system um, under five parts per million I mean the big display tank at the moment it currently runs at around about one or two ppm as does the uh, DD Aqua Pro and also the DD uh, Reef Pro uh, try and strive as I say nitrates uh, down as low as one ppm and we've never really had any issues and bothers too much with unsightly algae etc apart from when we've tried to raise the levels and uh, then experience problems um, as far as the phosphates go and everything again this is quite controversial really a subject I mean people are increasing their phosphate levels I mean we really I mean I use raw phos I try to keep the phosphate levels as low as possible certainly wouldn't let them raise any higher than 0.03 parts per million but that as I say that's again it's that's my view um, and we've always strived to do that I mean really at the moment if I use the NIOS or a Salifert test kit at the moment or even the HANA phosphate check kit I mean we're getting almost in, indistinguishable I mean 0, 0 0.0102 0 maybe maximum um, but I don't, certainly wouldn't let it rise more than 0 0.03. I'd say other people may have different opinions to this, but um, that's what we run on. So I just thought I'd do this little video just for our reef keepers if they want to know what we try to strive at, then uh, that's our parameters. Obviously, in the fish system, and we try to keep the nitrates and everything below about 15 20 ppm uh, but obviously when you're feeding the fish and everything like that it's uh, you can't keep it much lower than that anyway as i say for our reefers that want to do it the way that we do it try to keep your phosphates as low as possible certainly no higher than 0 0.03 and if you keep your nitrates below 5 ppm as i say one or two ppm then you can't go really too far wrong And uh, what do we do for that? Well, reduce nutrients and everything. Obviously, we don't feed the fish six or eight times a day, as some people would say. I mean, once or twice um, sparingly is ample. 
the new fleece filters from either DD uh, or the new X filter, they certainly help with nutrient expulsion, uh, as does a decent skimmer. Um, and we advise on a larger tank, say about 10% water change every three or four weeks is fine. On smaller aquariums, maybe every one to two weeks, a 10% water change will help to keep the nutrient level low and also help to replenish pH, calcium, magnesium and trace elements as well as part of it. Anyway, that's uh, about everything that I said on this on the subject to nitrates and phosphates. If you've got any other questions or anything, then don't hesitate to come into the shop and ask. And uh, thanks for watching this video and goodbye.